This is going to be a review of the Homer Simpson 2x2 cube. First thing I'm going to go over is how it looks. It's a 2x2. Two two. I'm not sure if you can see that. Like this whole part of his head, this line comes down over here. Two. Actually, right here. Right here. One, two by two. It looks like Homer Simpson off the Simpsons. Um, right here. I'm not sure going to focus, but it says Matt Groening. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right, but he's the creator of the Simpsons, and it says 2001 Fox. That's when. That's where the TV show is. Size, it's pretty big. Um, that's a 3x3. Three three. They're both down. Um, it's bigger than my 7x7 seven seven in height. Um, it can barely cut corners. I mean... I don't know if you can see that. I just turned barely in. Can't barely cut. Um, people said that it's a Rubik's mechanism. I'm not trying to break it. But earlier, you could see the peg. Right there, you can see the peg inside. Um... Turning it turns really great. And you can do finger rolls. It's just you gotta get used to the the roundish pieces. Um, it turns really great, like my Rubik's World right here. I don't know why, but the Rubik's two by twos you get from like um. Toys R Us, they like suck, but they should make them like these. Um, the weight it weighs more than your average three by three. It weighs about as much as a. If you have Rubik's World, it weighs the same about the. Same as Rubik's World. And you really can't find these anywhere because I think they stopped making they stopped making them. But if you can, if you find them at like a Toys R Us or something, it'll be pretty cheap. Probably about like twenty dollars. Not really cheap, but I got this for thirty offline because I was doing a bid and I really wanted it, so I mean, it does shape shift. Like, that's one turn, and it's already shape-shifting. Um, I mean, you can mess up his face. And, um, yeah, and that's my review of the Homer Simpson 2x2 cube. Any questions, just PM me, and thanks for watching.